Hi, good morning. Welcome back to Escape Forever Free. I'm your girl Faith. Here we are joining together to restore physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. This video is about our one hour alone time with God. If you're joining for the first time, welcome. Please click the bell icon and subscribe with us and remember to like so you can be a part of the persons who are gospel mongers spreading these truths to the rest of the world and enlightening darknesses so this video in this video or for this season we are looking at the great controversy we are still in the introductory chapter so we're going to get right to it is an exciting and informative um, book to read as it concerns the entire experience of good and evil in this earth the Bible presents it the great controversy reiterates it enlightens it for us and we of course do it prayerfully these let me tell you these spirits of prophecy readings that we're taking on cannot be done without prayer and supplication you must be in a prayerful consistent experience to truly understand these things and to truly be able to move in the direction that they're calling us to so smack in the middle of the Bible behind it the great controversy let us go and discover the way marks that are leading us and guiding us to the eternal life and the end of this world let us pray and then go into our routine of course at the end of this video you continue for one hour alone with God I am suggesting dig further into the great controversy in your one hour alone time with God. Thanks for joining us. It is so good to have you on our team. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, here you have provided for us the second part of another day. As I come to you in the wee hours of this morning, I pray that likewise those supporters and team members who are joining us will be willing to rise from their slumber and meet with you in alone time father the devils and their groups and their crews meet at we hours to plan and to execute wickedness what are we the people of good doing in slumber father help us to lay down early for rest and sleep that you promise us and to rise early to commune with you and to receive holy spirit anointing and direction in the quietude of the mornings when when all things are silence silenced and your voice is ever so crystal clear father guide us now as we take on the great controversy and protect us from the color which will rise in the evil one because we are getting into the depths of the truth and closer to the light that can lead us to full salvation be with us and guide us and may everyone in the hearing of our voice receive full understanding in what is presented in jesus name amen all right so we go to our memory text before we go into the introductory chapter to continue and our memory text is coming to us from galatians 5 and verse 22 and it says but the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace long suffering gentleness faith but the fruits of the spirit are love joy peace long suffering gentleness goodness faith again let's go through it galatians 5 and verse 22 what did i say galatians 5 and verse 22 but the fruits of the spirit are, is love joy peace long-suffering gentleness goodness faith may god help us to recall this chapter in due season to glorify his name and to edify souls we go into our great controversy so you know last um, reading where we would have stopped so we're going to pick up from where we stopped and continue into the controversy reading let me get back to my stop page just give me a second here and we'll get straight into it
just a second. So we're going to start here. In his word, God has committed to men the knowledge necessary for salvation. The Holy Scriptures are to be accepted as an authoritative and infallible revelation of his will. They are the standard of character, the receiver of doctrines, and the test of experience. Every scripture is inspired of God. Every scripture inspired of God is also profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for instruction which is in righteousness that the man of god may be complete furnished completely unto every good work yet the fact that god has revealed his will to men through his word has not rendered needless the continued presence and guiding of the holy spirit on the contrary the spirit was promised by our savior to open the word to his servants, to illuminate and apply his teachings. And since it was the Spirit of God that inspired the Bible, it is impossible that the teachings of the Spirit should be contrary to the word of God. So the Spirit is not so the Spirit was not given, nor can it ever be bestowed to supersede the bible for the scripture explicitly states that the word of god is the standard by which all teachings and experience must be tested says the apostle john in john first john verse four first john verses four and one quote unquote believe not every spirit but try the spirit whether they are of god because many false prophets are gone out into the world you heard that brethren you heard that followers you heard that supporters and isaiah declares in isaiah 8 verse 20 quote unquote to the law and to the testimony if they speak not according to this word it is because there is no light in them so this brethren mean that these are the ways that you test the words presented to you whether from a man's mouth or from a man's printed material or from a man's audio presentation you test them according to first john 40 what's first john 4 and verse 1 first john 41 rather and also according to isaiah Sorry, 1 John 4 and verse 1, and according to Isaiah 8 and verse 20's admonitions. Let's continue to read. The great reproach has been cast upon the work of the Holy Spirit by the errors of a class that, claiming its enlightenment, profess to have no further need of guidance from the Word of God. They are governed by impressions which they regard as the voice of God in the soul. But the spirit that controls them is not the spirit of God. This following of impressions to the neglect of the scriptures can lead only to confusion, to deception and ruin. It serves only to further the designs of the evil one since the ministry of the Holy Spirit is of vital importance to the church of christ it is one of the devices of satan through the arrows of extremists and fanatics to cast contempt upon the word of the spirit and cause the people of god to neglect this source of strength which our lord himself has provided all right, we stop here for today. So here we are reminded and encouraged that the Holy Spirit is an extremely important and an absolutely relevant part of the Godhead that guides us into preparing for the eternal life. The teachings that suggest that it is no longer needed 
it is not relevant or in some cases it's not even recognized as a part of the Godhead all of those teachings are not reflecting truth as taught in the scripture may you continue for one hour in the great controversy as you unveil all the truths that are necessary for understanding what is going on on this earth between good and evil why am I a part of it and how do I successfully engage this real and great the greatest of all type of battles that we're all in whether we are accepting of God as supreme or whether we consider ourselves atheists or agnostics let us continue to study so that we can be approved and to search the scriptures daily and to test every spirit and see if they are of God dividing all truth to the testimony and so the word as it is written in the good book let us pray father we thank you for another occasion of one hour alone time with you please continue with us put your anointing upon us purify our mind pour out your fire baptism father give us the early rain because according to the way marks it is a definite thing even though we don't know the date that the latter rain will soon be poured out but of course as your word teaches us clearly none of us will be able to receive latter rain or pouring if early rain preparation has not entered us already and father without your latter rain none of us can be sealed to be protected from the plagues that will come upon this earth or to be redeemed through our sealed salvation that will cause us to enter into eternal life father may everyone in the hearing of my voice who have a pure and clean heart and a good intention and, a, and, and, and will invest in effort to understand these truths of the great controversy. May none of us be left confused or without conviction to make the right choice. In Jesus' name we pray with hope and thanksgiving. Amen. Let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be known always acceptable in thy sight, O Lord our strength and our redeemer do please continue for one hour alone time with god at your best sacrificial time my best is the wee hours of the morning god bless you walk good but above all please walk with god can't wait to see you in our next video one love